Hey guys, it's Armand here with another What's New in Search Atlas update. We have a lot of exciting new features and tools to announce. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the platform. Now, if you remember from the last update, we had introduced the concept of LLM visibility inside of our Site Explorer. Well, I'm proud to announce that we now have the LLM visibility tool as a standalone product nested inside the Site Explorer. This standalone version of the tool allows you to get into much more granular details. When you first log in, you'll see a summary screen that looks like this. It will track your overall visibility against your competitors. It will show you your visibility in different platforms and it will also expose the sentiment about your brand and what people are saying within AI models. As you click into different sections of this tool, the data becomes a lot more granular with the ability to filter against competitors, to view and select different topics, as well as to adjust the platforms that you're monitoring your visibility against. Now, this is not just a pretty report. This report actually has utility. How do you use this tool to effect a change in a large language model? Well, it starts off by identifying the topics that you have visibility for. You then need to look at the queries associated with the topics to understand at a very precise level what people are saying about your company online. You can analyze these queries and topics. You can actually get the full exact LLM response directly inside Search Atlas. So you can actually see what are they saying about our brand? Where are we showing up in this response? And what are they saying about our competitors? Now, what we know about AI models is that when they come up with these responses, they are often citing sources to validate the claims or the sentiment that they're seeing to give you that response. So when you scroll down here and you see citation sources, you can in fact actually see not only the root domain that's providing you with those citations, but you can actually click into this and look at the exact URLs from each one of the sources to quickly identify the blogs, review sites, or aggregators that are talking about your brand or participating in the narrative that is being fed into the large language models. Update number two. We've made some significant updates to the Google Business Profile Galactic suite of tools. One of the first updates I wanna to bring to your attention is the ability to optimize service areas. So as we can see here, when we look at the knowledge graph on the Google Business Profile level, we have a section here now called service areas. We can actually hit that edit button and we can hit the drop down selector to manually specify additional areas and service areas for that matter that a business may happen to be in. This allows both physical businesses with a brick and mortar address as well as Google business profiles that are set up as service areas to provide additional location parameters that inform Google and search engines which audience or audiences are the most relevant to see your business online. If you're based in Kansas, for example, and you just have a service area of Kansas State, you are not being granular enough. You have to come into this section, title service areas, and add in precise micro locations around cities, counties, provinces, or even neighborhoods that you want to have more visibility in, in Google Maps searches. Update number three within Google Business Profile is actually the ability to automate your posting, but to this time, not only send it to Google, but to also share these posts on your Facebook and Instagram page accounts. This tool allows for the streamless sharing of Google business profile posts as Facebook posts or as Instagram posts. So with one tool, with one feature, you can not only increase your visibility and engagement signals in Google business profile, but you can now also do this on your Facebook page as well as your Instagram page, making it that much easier for you to bring awareness about your brand and to consolidate the tools that you're using to manage your client profiles at scale. Update number four, the report builder has seen a massive overhaul over the last few development cycles. One of the most popular updates that has come to this platform is this concept of portfolio analytics or portfolio summaries. Now at a glance, an agency operator can scan a massive portfolio of their client websites, whether it's five websites or 500 websites and have an executive summary powered by AI that will let you know which of your five customers are seeing the biggest wins this month which five accounts are stable, but most importantly, which accounts are at risk for churn. So without having to actually scroll through over 200 unique reports in this example, we can actually very quickly look at this table here on the right and see that some of these accounts have had a slip in performance as reported by Google Search Console or Google Analytics 4, and now our team can take action immediately 
on the accounts that are at churn risk. This feature allows agency owner operators to keep a pulse on their portfolio of brands and to never worry about churn because you can now preemptively strike and take action when the report signals that one or more of your customers are losing ground in organic search. Related to this feature, one of the really cool updates that we've made is the ability to transpose static reports into custom presentations simply by clicking this button right here, create presentations inside of your report builder. This process may take a couple minutes to actually generate. Uh, the reports are on a neutral template. They're clean, they're white labelable, meaning you can pop into the template and add your own branding, logos, and iconography to these presentations before sharing them out with your customers. So we no longer have to rely on AI summaries or just a static PDF. We can now bring these reports to life with export to Google Slide presentations directly from inside your report builder. Update number five. We have a new product called the Domain Knowledge Network. This product is nested inside your auto projects. It would be under content strategy in the first tool at the top, which is called Domain Knowledge Networks. You just have a few simple prompts under the Business Information tab to provide things like business description, central entity, source context, target audience, your monetization strategy, and the central search intent for your business. With a few of these basic details, the Domain Knowledge Network is able to create an end-to-end -end content bomb for your site. This is not just one blog, this is not just 50 blog suggestions, this is an end-to-end -end comprehensive supplemental content strategy for your business generated in one click. It will break down your suggestions by category, by subcategory, it'll show you all of the articles it's recommending to create, the category it's supposed to be nested under, the keywords the page is trying to rank for, and if you hit the edit button, you can actually drill down and customize these details even further. It has never been easier to produce a holistic content strategy on any website than it is right now. This system allows you to create bespoke, localized, or contextualized high quality content immediately from Search Atlas. You can also one-click publish these pieces of content to your CMS as well. Update number six, related to the domain knowledge networks, we've made significant enhancements to the content genius, which is the backbone of the DKN technology. One of the quick updates that we've made here is introducing a alphabetical sorting structure to the projects within your folder. So at a glance, you can scroll through and quickly find projects because this list is now sorted for you alphabetically. Once you've actually created a piece of content, you can now leverage any one of our new semantic refiners. So we have refiners in here that allow you to drag and drop new hero images, generate FAQs, create conclusions, humanize your articles, add lists, add tables, and even add infographics directly to your article simply by dragging over one of these refiner agents and adding it to the platform. What's more, we've also introduced the concept of vibe coding to edit your content. So you may notice down here, we have a small little chat window. So you can now actually come in here and go straight to this chat window and supply an instruction. For example, update the H1 of this post to be more action-oriented and sales-focused. I'm not requesting anything else to be changed. I'm only asking for a change to this H1 tab. We're then gonna submit that request into the engine. The system will come up with a new iteration of that H1 tag, but it'll actually show us, here's the original, here's the new change, here's what I changed and why I changed it. Do you agree with that change or would you like another suggestion? This is the way the platform is moving, guys. It's talking to Search Atlas in a natural language processing fashion. You are simply asking the tool to make the changes or delegate the tasks you wanted to unpack, and the system will execute, but giving you the option to approve, edit, or refine the suggestions before marking them as complete. Update number seven. So not all updates in Search Atlas are about releasing new tools or new features. Some of the updates are just about stability, speed, and ease of use. So this update fits into that category. This tool is called our GSC Performance Insights tool. In case you've never seen this tool before, what this tool enables you to do is to connect your Google Search Console account and your Google Analytics 4 account and build a bridge between those reporting platforms and Search Atlas. This tool allows you to import historical first-party data from Google. So you, at a glance, have all of the data you need to understand the true performance of your websites, not third-party estimates from other popular tools, but getting that data straight from the horse's mouth. This report is intuitive, it's customizable, and it allows you to take 
really granular looks into what keywords are driving traffic, what keyword changes have happened over your date ranges, what keywords are cannibalizing against each other so you can decouple those pages and improve your content performance. Now, the big update that's happened to this tool is actually a speed update. This section, because there's so much data in here that we're warehousing from Search Console and Analytics, this tool has historically been on the slower side. What we've just released represents a 50% improvement in the performance and 50% reduction of the load time of this particular tool. So if you've never checked it out, now is actually the perfect time to check it out because it's lightning fast, it's intuitive, and the data in here is worth gold. Now, the last and arguably the most important update or series of updates here are going to relate to how Search Atlas connects to your CMS. Historically, we've had JavaScript pixel connections, we've had WordPress plugin or Shopify plugin connections, and we've had a Google Tag Manager connection option. What I'm very proud, very excited to release here today is the CMS level universal connector or the UCMS for short. We are able to set up direct API connections between Search Atlas to Contentful, Search Atlas to Webflow, Search Atlas to Wix, and many other of the world's most populous CMS providers. You can now leverage the Search Atlas technology with no pixel and no plugin via the universal CMS connector. This means that your changes are happening on your database. Your work is being stored on your server. Search Atlas no longer has to push data through the browser or through the edge. We can physically update the database and the core HTML files with this new CMS connector. I cannot stress how important this feature is, and I would love for you to check this out. Another update related to this exact concept is the ability to connect Auto and Search Atlas via a DNS connection. So we've set up a API with a platform called Cloudflare, which effectively allows us, Search Atlas, to connect to your Cloudflare DNS instance, which then enables Search Atlas to serve page modifications through server-side rendering and not have to do this on the browser side. So just to be very clear, if your site is built with one of the CMS providers that the universal CMS supports, connect there. If your site is not on that list, but you still want to enable server-side rendering of Search Atlas work, then set up your connections via the DNS setup option inside the installation guide. This represents a huge shift to the way Search Atlas is serving page optimizations on sites because it no longer has to happen on the browser. All page modifications can now be served through the DNS provider. And the last but not least of the updates is a new deployment of the WordPress plugin called version 2.5.7. What makes this plugin different? This plugin actually supports your entire auto project nested inside of Search Atlas. So now you can actually log into WordPress, view your auto project, and physically make the changes directly inside your WordPress environment. This plugin also has a detailed sync log and sync history that allows you to see all of the changes that you've made from WordPress or from Search Atlas to your WordPress site directly. We've also added new indexation controls, which allows you to selectively choose which pages to index and which pages to omit, such as tag pages or author pages. We've also introduced a full suite of rebranding capabilities where you can change the plugin name, the auto naming convention, you can update your logos and URL paths. You can actually now even set custom passwords that restrict users from accessing this module within WordPress to ensure that no unauthorized users affect a change on your website without your consent. And here, just in case something does go wrong with your WordPress build, we have detailed error logging and management directly inside the panel. There's some color coding statuses here as well, and this effectively allows us to know exactly what is going on with your WordPress instance and allows our team to diagnose and fix that issue in as little time as humanly possible. So if you haven't done so already, please update to the latest version of our WordPress plugin which again is going to be version 2.5.7 called MetaSync in the WordPress store. So that is the quick series of updates for this video, guys. I hope you see that Search Atlas is rapidly growing and evolving. We pay attention to every piece of feedback that we get from our community, and we're continuously working on improving the platform. We're gonna have another series of really big releases towards the end of this month, so please keep an eye out for that next video as well. Thank you so much.